is the Alchemy Kitchen. Today we're going to be making some smoked salmon. Uh, first day of spring, nice weather out. And it's pretty simple. Just a couple things really to point out so it doesn't go wrong. Um, I already brined it, so here we have it. The brine is simple. If you just put, uh, I just have a side of salmon here. You can use salmon, you can just try to use uh, char, lots of different types of fish. And skin on or skin off. I prefer it with skin on. For the brine, you're going to put it in a liter of water, about a quart of water. One third cup of kosher salt. You don't want to use, or sea salt. You just don't want to use salt that's uh, got iodine in it. That will give a funky flavor to it. And one cup of brown sugar. Mix that in a container or a plastic bag. Just don't use metal. Use uh, plastic or uh, glass. I put it in a Ziploc bag, get all the air out. So it's all submerged and put that in the fridge. At least eight hours, a little longer, depending on how big it is. I left this in for a couple days because I was working all weekend. So after it's brined, then you take it out and just give it a quick rinse. And the next step is the important part. That's to uh, form the pellicle, which is going to be the sticky layer on the outside. So it's got to dry. Um, I pat it dry as much as I can with some paper towels. You Best if you have some kind of rack like this to lift it up so the, it can drain. You can do it in the fridge for a long time, maybe like overnight. Um, I prefer to just put it out. And I put it under a ceiling fan, run a fan on it, and that'll speed up the process. It should be ready in a couple hours. And um, that that pellicle, that's going to make the smoke really stick to it. Another, another thing is you don't really have to worry about it being in room temperature as long as it's not too hot. Um, because it's the, the salt's going to act as a preservative from the brine. So it's safe to leave out like this for a couple hours. I will close the blinds here so I don't get like direct sunlight blasting on it and we'll come back in an hour or two and check on it. Smoking it, we're going to smoke it, not cold smoke, but not hot smoke, um, around I believe 60 degrees uh, Celsius, we'll get to that when I get outside to the smoker. A good uh, choices of wood, you could use apple, maple, oak, uh, alder would probably be fine. Uh, fruit trees like uh, pear. I have a bit of apple. I think I have some maple and some oak. So I'll see what I got. It's like a mesquite you could use, but it's going to be really strong for, a, for fish. Um, so we'll be back in an hour or two and see how the pellicle forms on this. So the salmon is air dried under the ceiling fan a couple hours now. And you want that pellicle to form. Um, easy way to tell is you just touch it. And you'll see if your fingers dry. It's also going to be a bit stickier. Take a paper towel and dab it. You'll see there's no moisture on the paper towel, but it does. It, it, even the paper towel gets a little bit sticky. I've already got it in the smoker. I got my coal started. If you're not really used to your smoker, uh, I'd suggest getting the coals and bringing the temperature up first. I want to go for start out about 60, 65 degrees Celsius. And towards the end, I'll go up a little bit higher towards 80 degrees. You don't want to go too high. That's going to make the proteins make this weird, like, white spot come out of it, which looks funky, but it also it makes it dry when that happens if you get it too hot. So you want to keep an eye on the fire. For this, I know I can throw in 10 briquettes, and that should be about fine. I just got to keep an eye on it. I've got a... Um, I thought I had maple, and actually all I have is hickory, but... I just won't smoke it as long. I'll just, you know, not keep throwing a lot in there. I don't mind the smoky flavor anyways. So I got that in one of these, just some pellets in a smoker box. I'm going to lay that directly over the coals. Coals are just about lit to where I like them. And yeah, we're going to let it go for about an hour between 60 to 65 towards the last, like, I'll probably do this about two hours or the last... 45 minutes, I'm going to start bringing that heat up to about 80 degrees. Threw a jalapeno in there too. Uh, I'm going to make some mango salsa. So I thought I'd try that smoked. The only other thing I'm going to do is brush a little bit of honey over it. Every like 30, 45 minutes, I'll do that a couple times. Uh, you can also use maple syrup, not like fake stuff, the real stuff. 
I've heard birch syrup is excellent, so I've actually got a few birch trees here. I'm going to try to tap for the first time this year and get birch water and see if I can make birch syrup. You want to grease your grates so it doesn't stick. That's another thing. Uh, a lot of people just get some paper towel with olive oil and rub it on. That works. What I found works the best is just cut an onion in half and rub that on the grill. That works amazing for me. Right? It just makes it totally non-stick every time I've done it. I even grub this or for just a little fork to hold the onion so you can rub it on when the grill is hot. I'll probably have that up for sale soon on my Etsy page. All right, so I'm going to get this closed up and bring it up to temperature. We'll come back after about 45 minutes or so and do the first coat of honey. All right, it's been about an hour or so. Uh, I slowly keep bringing the temperature up closer to 80. This gauge isn't super correct, but I'm used to it. Starting to take on a little bit of that smoke color. Um, you just want to keep an eye on your fire. It doesn't get too hot. And I'll add, once they kind of burn down, I'll add a couple coals at a time. So now, uh, I should have opened this before I picked up the camera. So now I'm just brushing on honey. If you go this way with the grain of the meat, you're not going to rip up the filet. I usually throw the jar of honey on top of the firebox for a few minutes just to make it a little easier to work with, a little so it's not so thick. Coat that on. And I'm going to keep the temperature about 80 Celsius now in that range for about another hour. I'll just come and check on it. Meanwhile, just making up some mango salsa to go with this with uh, wild ramps. And these smoked peppers are going to go in there as well. All right, close it up, let it cook, let it smoke. So it's been about four, another 45 minutes. I'm brushing on another coat of honey. You want to keep it going at around, uh, I've got it just under 200 Fahrenheit. You want an internal temperature of about 130, 140. So you can go for about four hours. If you don't want it so smoky, you can finish it in the oven at 200 Fahrenheit. Or as past, I just topped it off with some more coals. I brushed more honey on it, started to get a really nice color. I tried a little sample, and yeah, it's good already, but it could go a little bit longer, maybe another hour. Um, the heat's been just under like 200 degrees Fahrenheit, around the, I guess that's 80, somewhere around 80 Celsius, um, somewhere in that range. So I've, it went down a little bit because I lifted the lid, but it's going to come back up, add more coals, come back in an hour. Starting to get a very nice color. Uh, I'm going to do another coat of honey I think it's the temperature has been sitting really well so added a few more coals I'll probably be ready to pull it I'm gonna let it go as long as I can I'm not really in a rush so looking really good I'm in the process of trying for the first time I have a video I'm doing of that as well uh, tapping a, a birch tree for the birch sap I want to try drinking some of the water, but also I'm going to turn some of that sap into a syrup. So next time I smoke fish, I will give that a try. It's supposed to be really good. Keep an eye out for that. Make hit sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm like 75 or so subscribers short of what I need to become monetized. And if my channel gets monetized, I will end up doing videos much more frequently. So. If you haven't subscribed already, please do, or share the video, that helps. So we'll come back, I think another 45 minutes to an hour, and check on this. Okay, it is done. I mean, that is, you're kind of just really going for that color. Uh, no, no problems, the heat stayed really ideal, so I left it a bit longer. You see, it's very, uh, not dry at all. God damn, that's good. Oh, it's really good. So, I'm going to seal this up in some Ziploc bags. Eat some tonight, but fuck, man, it's really good.
and um, that's it. I'll try to I'll put a picture up of what I was talking about when you overheat it and you get this white stuff coming out. Um, did not get that, and it's it's moist. It's uh, the honey really adds a nice touch to it. And just great flavor. Uh, it's not too smoky with the what was it mesquite I used. Man, it's good. So I'll probably do a follow-up video. There's a lot of things you can use this for with cooking. It's like an ingredient, like, you know, salmon is. Whether it's on some good bread with cream cheese, some of that bear lauk, the wild ramps, which are in season now, uh, and pasta, it, just so many things. So I'll try to come up with a creative recipe tomorrow and get a video of that as well. But this is done. Time to take it inside and pack it up. I like to wrap it in, um, I don't have a, I need to order a vacuum sealer. So I'll put it in a Ziploc bag, close it as much as I can around a straw and suck the air out. And that is the closest you can get to vacuum sealing. And that will kind of let it rest and the smoke flavor kind of mellow out inside of the meat. Um, it'll stay, so since there's honey on it, it actually will stay a little bit longer. Um, pfft it kind of depends how long you keep it if it's vacuum packed it can stay longer you can freeze it up to three months this will not last that long so i'm not really concerned about that but i mean it normally just smoked and put it in a bag in the fridge you've got a good two three days before it starts to go bad uh yeah there's no way this is going to last that long but what you're going to do because it was warm today it was like 15 degrees out which is warm for germany celsius uh, it gets cold at night so this there's still some heat going on some colds going on i'm gonna just let this cool down in here and stay for a few hours after it's cooled i will package it and try not to eat it all before that i'm sure i'm gonna make a few more pieces disappear before i head back down and just inside all right so thanks for watching hit like hit subscribe i'm almost at the thousand subscriber mark which i need to get for